The pound is consolidating this week, but where are we likely to see the next trade opportunity materialize? I'll have all the details in today's video, including why we're seeing the dollar pullback. There is a very technical reason for that, and I'll have all the details in today's video. Now, if you guys do want to join us in the VIP group to get my help with your trading, that includes daily videos, my help in Discord, plus you're going to see my trades in real time and also the upcoming course that launches this week. Click on the link at the top of this video to get 80% off lifetime access. Like I've said before, even if you're there for a year, it is less than a dollar a day. All right, so see the link in the description. If you're on the website, click on the trading group link at the top and it will take you to the page to sign up. Okay, so looking at the pound, we talked about this last weekend, but we have the market breaking below 1.25 last week. So this was the Friday candle that closed below. And this right here between 1.2498 and 1.2535 was the area that I mentioned in the weekly forecast. So if you'll notice right here on Monday, we did get a retest of this level at 1.2498. And what you'll notice is that this was right on the dot. Okay, so this candle came right into that lower boundary and sold off. But now we're just seeing the pound go sideways. And this is also pretty typical because this is what we tend to see from markets where we get impulsive moves lower and consolidation, right? So the market moved lower, consolidated, moved lower, consolidated, moved lower, and now we're seeing more consolidation. Okay, so there's nothing out of the ordinary about what we're seeing here this week with the consolidation. Now, the thing is though, if you are trading the pound right now, in my opinion, this is an unfavorable place to be trading. First of all, we have the market going sideways, right? So no clear direction in the short term. And second, you have to think about risk reward because if you're looking at this level right back here around 1.2375, you've got this low back here, you've got this high and this low. So this is a pivot through here that we have not seen tested yet. So that's going to be support. And we know that we have resistance up here in that 1.25 area. So with the market trading right here, you're essentially, you know, seeing the pound trade right in the middle of this range, which from a risk reward perspective, is unappealing. So as a trader, you always want to be thinking about risk reward and look for those asymmetric bets. So what I think here for the pound that we could get, okay, potentially, is if we see the market come down here first into this level, right, then it would kind of negate what I'm, I'm referring to here uh, in this video as an opportunity. However, from there, we could get a bounce and some consolidation, right, back up here toward this level. But what I think we could get either immediately up here toward 1.25, or if we get the move down here first, what I'm looking for is a potential sweep up here in this region. And the reason for that is we have this candle that broke a very significant level. So there is an imbalance now above this wick right here, okay? Because what you'll notice is that even though this is a pivot right here at 1.2498, we still have these wicks up here, including these, right, that have not been retested. So there is an imbalance up here in this area. So in my opinion, we either see the pound come down here and test this level first, give us that bounce, maybe sweep that 1.2498 wick, or we get the move up here first, but either way, I'm going to be looking for a potential sweep of this wick up here for a short. Now, I do want to show you guys why the DXY is pulling back a little bit here, and there is a very technical reason for this. Okay, so looking at the DXY, and by the way, guys, if you enjoy the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Don't forget to, to smash the like button to show your support. So the DXY, we have it holding above this level at 106.15. So this is what I mentioned over the weekend, these two levels. You can see this did serve as support right here. And so far we have the market holding above 106.15. Now the tricky part about this is that this level right here is more of a weekly level in that if you look at the weekly chart, okay, this area back here following this failed breakout this area through here is more of a weekly pivot. So even though we're seeing the market hold above it intraday or daily, I should say, we need to see a, a weekly close above this area to really flip it to new support and expose these highs up around 107. Now, what I really want to focus on today, though, is why we are seeing the dollar weaken a little bit today. And there is a very technical reason for it. And we talked about this yesterday in Tuesday's video in the VIP group. So one of the benefits of being in VIP is that you do get daily videos on all of these markets. We talk about the DXY, um, the S&P 500, the Euro, the pound, Bitcoin, um, all those markets every single day. And what I mentioned to members was this channel that has formed off of this low. So notice from this low down here, we've got this swing low and you can see where the DXY is coming into some resistance. 
Okay, so again, we've got this low back here. We've got this one. We've got this high and now this high here on Tuesday. So this is the reason why we are seeing the DXY weaken a little bit here today. Now, what's unclear though, is how far we see the DXY pull back. And keep in mind too, that we also have that open gap from up here at 106.88 that we talked about yesterday. So in that Euro USD video, what I was saying is that this open gap up here from November 1st could serve as a magnet for the DXY. And I still think that, right? I still think that just because the market comes into resistance like this does not mean that we have to see the market just sell off, right? And honestly, with this bullish move, I think that that's a little bit unlikely. What is more likely is some consolidation here following this recent impulse, okay? And then potentially a move up here to tag that level and close the November gap. Now, maybe from there, we do get a pullback, okay? Which would make sense because again, we have seen a very bullish move here from the DXY. Um, but as long as the market's above this area, specifically 105.85, this area down here on the higher time frames, then I am not going to be looking for a deeper pullback from the DXY. Okay, but a move down here toward 105.85 or even a sweep of this low right here could give us the pound into that area that we just talked about. Okay, so if we were to get that, then it could put the pound up here in this region to give us that sweep and potential short. Okay, so that's really the idea that I'm talking about here today. Um, it doesn't mean that we will get it though. And I'm also certainly not gonna buy the pound right now because again, it's unfavorable. And I'm certainly not shorting the dollar just because it came into some resistance up here. Um, I don't think that that's the right move right now, given what we're seeing across markets, not just the DXY, but also the US 10 year yield which we've talked about this chart as well. And this matters for the dollar because they are very closely positively correlated. Okay, so this was a significant factor back here in my opinion with that 4.335% reclaim. Okay, so key level back here, this looked like a failed breakout and it was. And then we got the reclaim over here at 4.335%. Now you can also see where we have a smaller ascending channel that I talked about yesterday in the VIP video. And you can see where you could make the case too that the US 10 year yield is coming into some resistance here, okay, short term, that could cause a pullback. Now, it's unclear if we got a retest up here, we could see a little bit higher, but I do think that this general area up here could trigger a pullback from yields, okay? So if we see that, then that could coincide too with a pullback from the dollar. But again, I am not shorting the dollar. I do not wanna short this kind of move. Um, I think that longer term, okay, longer term, we are likely to see the DXY head back here toward this imbalance all the way up here around 109 to 110. So if anything, I'm looking to buy the dollar on pullbacks. Okay, I could be wrong about that, but right now what the chart is telling me is that the dollar is strengthening. We've got the US 10 year breaking above that 4.335 level, and we have markets like the pound breaking below significant support like this here, okay? So this up here was a fake out. It was confirmed through here. We've now had the break below this significant support area. So. I don't want to go buying the pound. The only way this would turn bullish is if we got to close back above 1.2535. As long as it's below this area through here, I am looking for shorts. But again, I need a better entry to justify a short here in terms of the risk reward ratio. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget too, to join us in VIP. Save 80% on lifetime access. That deal does end in a couple of days though. So be sure to get in there for daily videos, my help with your trading, plus the upcoming course and see my trades in real time. Trade well out there and I will talk to you again tomorrow.